One day, Sandy Smith gets an invitation in the mail. Seriously? Steve, I see you and Denise Kelly are getting married. And you send me an invitation to the wedding. But do you think that appropriate since I am your ex-wife? I wasn't really expecting you to accept, but it was actually Denise who wanted to invite you. And she said it was you that brought me and her together. I also invited Debbie since she is one of my employees at the modeling agency I own. Sure, Debbie should go. I just think it would be too awkward for me to be there too. I understand. I won't bring it up again. Debbie, are you going to Steve and Denise Kelly's wedding next month? I was considering it, but knowing he is your ex-husband, I won't go if you object to it. No, it's fine. I want you to go to represent the Smith family there. He invited me too, but I will stay home. All right. But mother, I have a question. What is it? You don't seem to be the romantic type at all. Yet you have gone through two marriages. How is that possible? Just because I am a romantic doesn't mean I am incapable of love and loyalty. I just lack the kind of passion seen in most couples. Your father and I married because we were both lawyers and both atheists, so we had that in common. And I was pregnant with you, too. And you know why I married Steve. Both marriages were matters of convenience for all involved. And I am happy with how things are now. I understand. Rich, on some level, I actually miss you. Rich, is that you? I am the memory of him that has always been in your mind ever since we split up, Sandy. I will always regret abandoning you for Diana Kelly. That was the worst mistake I ever made. But if I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have moved to that town in Texas. You wouldn't have become its mayor and made things better there for most of its people. You took a bad situation I caused you and made things so much better. I, on the other hand, destroyed my own life. Diana turned out to be a backstabber and then I was gunned down by a lunatic before I could make things right. It's okay, Rich. The past is the past. As long as I can focus on making the best possible future, including for our two children, that is enough. You should be proud of Debbie and James. They both turned out so well. Thank you for making them with me.